This time of year can have you feeling a bit down. Seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression is a clinical diagnosis that actually affects about half a million people across the country. While others might have a milder form of the winter blues. I talked with a local expert from UB about what, what causes it and what can help to improve your mood. Gray skies and dreary days aren't doing us many favors when it comes to our mood. As the duration of daylight decreases, it's essentially telling your nervous system to start getting ready to hibernate. Experts say seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression is thought to be a variant of hibernation. And systems that promote withdrawal, decreased interest, increased appetite, and sleeping more are being turned on. For some, the winter months can have us feeling bummed out or a bit sluggish, but for others, the change is more severe. When people who are prone to getting depressed, the shutting down process turns on systems in the brain that make you more withdrawn, uh, negative, less engaged with the world. UB's Dr. Stephen Dubofsky says signs that seasonal affective disorder is really becoming a problem are when you have trouble functioning, difficulty getting out of bed or going to work or school, not enjoying things that might normally make you happy, or social withdrawal. And contrary to popular belief, SAD isn't because of the cold or end to the holidays. It's a lack of daylight that throws your biological rhythm out of whack. He recommends going outside and doing some sort of physical activity. Even on an overcast day, it can help or try a mood boosting light that's 10,000 lux. You can find lots of options online. To sit within a meter of the light and the light has to get into your eyes. Dr. Dubofsky says 30 minutes a day first thing in the morning should do the trick until we see more daylight in the months to come.